plastic. Found that inside the here. In the inside part here. That's weird. I don't know. A little baggy from something. Man, this is an old trooper. One door. It's, two, it's uh, February 6th. Uh, 2020 <laughs> still works. I degreased it last year. So, you know what brush is the best brush to clean this condenser where you can't get in there very good? <laughs> Back scrubbing brush. Works really good, man. Grease this puppy a little bit. The outside's clean, but the inside's dirty. You should be able to see where it's dirty parts on the inside. Like not major, but just. crap off before it gets bad. Might as well. Give it a quickie hot water and some chemical. Okay. About uh, 10 minutes later. Do about 10 minutes just to hot water wash, pre-rinse, uh, chemical for five minutes. Use some uh, root beer. I think it got sun beaten. Uh, I think it got weakened. Got to add some more root beer to it. But as you can see, the inside's a whole lot cleaner now. That's what you want because you got thickness of the whole thing. It's that thick, you know. So it's like three passes. So you got to have all the passes clean before they get bad. It takes, like I said, only 10 minutes. That's a hell, hell of a lot cleaner than it was. And uh, let's see if I can put my light in the back here. See how that works. Let's see. Good. Be able to see, as you can see, it's looking pristine. Focus, darn it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. She's a uh, touch wood, all tight and original. <clears throat> yeah, some of the things I like to do is see how I put a little scratch mark where the end of the condensing unit lines up at, so when you put it back in, you know where it was. So it just makes your life a whole lot easier getting the thing centered where the hole is and then you got your hole. And uh, I use these extensions. These are cool. Got them off of eBay. Come on, focus, darn it. Um, but these uh, quickie extensions are pretty cool. They lock in. So uh, anything you put in them, they're like seven bucks for like three of them. See, nothing falls out. So um, they're kind of cheap. One of them broke, of course, like anything cheap boat China stuff. But two of them have been real good. Um, and the other one still works. It's just that the collar fell off of it. So, I mean, 
there it is you can see it all you do is pull back on the spring and the thing will come out you know but it still holds it in so I just leave that 5 6 that 3 8 one in there and then when I want to zoom these things out or back in you just put see if I can put this in here then I can do this with one hand pull a NorCal I don't want to F it up. All right, you get the drift, drift though. Works cool. Okay, she's all back in. Cleaned up. Wipe the fat fan blade down with a towel. A couple of little paper towels. Okay, so now it's really ready to go back together. I have to put the trains back in. <laughs> okay. Hey world. Hey, uh, this is for you new guys that think like when tube when the fins start uh, falling off the condenser and you just have bare tubes that the air conditioning unit's junk or whatever I'll just uh, this is a condenser for uh, deep freeze so you don't need the fins this proves it right here see these are just bare tubes and it doesn't even have a shroud or anything I mean it's pretty damn inefficient and uh, they could improve the efficiency if they put a uh, shroud back here and funneled the air across this. But of course there's a grill that goes here, so it kind of acts like a little bit of a shroud. But you know what I'm saying, like on the radiator on a car, how you can you could pull the air across this, this tube real nice. But uh, just so you guys know that for a condenser or evaporator or whatever, all you need is just tube, you know, and you can do whatever you want with stuff so just wanted to show you what's out there there's a lot of uh, ice cream freezers that use uh, just bare tubes um, so. anyways just thought I'd show that to you low budget engineering <laughs> okay world if you're wondering how you clean these condensers right here all you do is use your hand and just go in in here I use a uh, 3m pad or any sponge and you can just stick your hand in here and you just sponge it you know like that just go around and you can go between with the sponge and you can go around there with the sponge you know so um, and I'm not a tiny guy I'm six foot one 250 pounds so if my hand fits, your hand should fit. So, anyways, I uh, just want to let you know how to clean the condenser. Okay, thanks for watching. Click like on the video, subscribe. Thanks. R290 unit. I think it's a beverage air. I'll have to look around front. But uh, TSSU, I don't know, maybe it's a true. Must be with that model number. Yeah, so R290 unit, just maintenance, cleaning condenser. What a stupid cover though. Man. They put three screws here and they freaking go right in into the coil bracket.
kind of dicey. Not real impressed with that. They're using uh, stranded and solid wire in these push-on things. Oh, I don't really think those are that great. They could get loose in those things. You can get sparking. I think nobody really knows what the F is going on at these engineering places. Because it's just a piece of metal that binds against another piece of copper and they'll all get distance and I think they're not any better. I actually think a wire nut's probably even better. Anyways, let me blow this thing out. See what we got here. Um, it's been here for a few years now. Doing pretty good. 34. Just check the temp, it's accurate. <coughs> um, doors still work good. Better than the trues out there. So probably come in here in 17. So this is February 2020. Okay, pretty good. Pretty cool. It's got the air filter on here. Got hollow my magnets. Clean. Doing a good job. Got some dirt out of the machines, that's for sure. Check this stuff out. Nasties. 